guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I am Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are back in my 1.19 survival world. We are coming up out of our little strip mine that I've made here, and we are, of course, in our new chest room that we built in the last episode. Uh, I keep hearing zombies. I don't really know where they are, but it's really annoying me. But I've started sorting things, so this is like valuables, and we'll put like uh, good loot below it, like, you know. You know what's good loot. Uh, and then we'll have uh, wood and stone over on this side. And so far I've done uh, other loot, like miscellaneous loot and stuff like that. A few of these tools down here. Uh, I don't think that I've put, oh, I've put dirt and stuff in that one. But uh, this one's like green stuff, like lush, leafy outdoor things. But uh, I need to get some leather so I can get some item frames to properly label those because it's getting kind of hard to remember. But uh, let's go ahead and come up here and see what's going on. I hear so many zombies. But they're not out here. You cow. Hi. You should stick around because if I can find another one of you, then I can breed you up and actually get the leather that I need. Um, so, but in this, let's go ahead and let's go to our to-do board. We're going to do that at the beginning of every episode uh, and check out what needs to be done this episode. So, obviously I've been working on setting up the strip mine. It's not completely done yet. We're not going to work on that in this episode because that's mostly just mining, really annoying, slow mining. So we're not going to worry about doing that. We probably won't do it, do that during the episode at all, uh, because that's just, it's, it's kind of boring. Uh, so what I want to do today is actually kind of several of these things. So first off, we need to make sure that the little pathway down there to the bottom is finished. And then I want to get rid of all those trees down there. That way we can start building little ponds so we can get our mud started because we're gonna need a pond to do that regardless. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna take a little while. And then we'll do some custom trees in the area. We'll decorate it with like leaves, moss, different uh, flowers, sugarcane, bamboo, uh, all kinds of things like that. I wanna really make it kind of like a lush biome, but it's gonna be like mud, you know? Mud with lush and trees, custom trees. It'll be good. Uh, but that's what I wanna work on today. So we're gonna have to go down there and chop down all these ugly trees. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right, well, now that the trees are mostly gone, we can kind of see the area that we're working with. We can expand it a lot more that way, but obviously, like, I wanted a starting place, and I have to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do with the terrain. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. If this is going to be all the way across, if this is going to be open like this, but the most important thing I need to do it's really hard to find water around here, which is pretty crazy. I actually got this water from up there. I went all the way up there and broke some ice just to grab some water. Ridiculous. I need an infinite water source over here, so I think that I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to figure that out again. Am I climbing a mountain to grab this waterfall water source instead of just walking? 50 blocks back to my house? Yes. <laughs> yes, I just did that. Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. An infinite water source, and it only took me climbing a mountain. Okay. Alright, so I went back and I collected a whole bunch of sand, as much as I could gather, uh, from really far that way. Like, there's no freaking sand around here either. I guess sand is mostly around water, which is not around here at all which is kind of weird. Um, 
but fine, I guess. So I just found something out that I didn't know, and that's that uh, you can't just place the water bottle on grass. So I came up with another idea of obviously hoeing. I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm going to waste like a lot of stuff doing this. So it might not be the best, but I can't think of we oh, see just like this. And now we should be able. Perfect. All right. It worked. But now the annoying thing about this is that these water bottles. Oh, my gosh. These water bottles don't stack like when they're water. So this probably actually isn't the best way to do this. So <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, but we're, we're yeah, we're going to have to figure this out because this isn't this is going to take way too long. Maybe I should just run back to the can you hold on? Let me try something. No. Okay, so you can't craft it either, which means... Ugh, which means it has to be done that way? I could, like... No, it's way too much work. That is crazy. There's no way I could do this entire area like that. I would have to hoe the entire thing or dig everything a layer down so it was all dirt. <laughs> no. Okay, we're going to go back to the mangrove swamp. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of mud, and then I'm going to come back here, and we're going to see how much we can get placed, because that's that's not a good idea. I've changed my mind. <laughs> All right, so this is how much of the mud I've got placed down so far. That was about six stacks, so I've got probably around ten stacks now, maybe about eleven, so... Hopefully that's enough to finish this area. Eventually we're going to expand out maybe a little bit further that way. Uh, but for now we'll probably just do this area that I've cleared out. Uh, that way it's somewhat man manageable. I didn't even realize that this was already going to be like 16 stacks of mud. So yeah, I've used pretty much all my cobblestone to make a million friggin shovels. Right now we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Place down the rest of this mud and see how it looks, I guess. All right, well, I am still <laughs> placing mud. Um, I've gotten a lot of the area covered. I was thinking over here because I want a big pond. So I was thinking instead of like filling in this area with mud and then having to dig it out, we'll just kind of shape out the pond here. Uh, and I think that'll work out really well. And then we can just fill it with water instead of... Uh, having to actually dig a hole for it. We'll have to, you know, dig down probably a little bit in a couple areas, but for the most part, we can just have like a pond right here. I think that'd be nice. So what I'm thinking is we need to put mud down there too. What I'm thinking is we need a path. I need to fix this because it doesn't look great, but when you come down, I want a path that goes through here, right? So you're going to have like trees, you're going to have lush area throughout here, bamboo, moss, all the stuff, right? And trees, 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 trees. You're just going to have this little path through here. It's going to be very, very dense. I want it to be something that you can only really walk on the path. When you look off to the sides, it's going to be so crowded that you can't really walk through with a tree, with bamboo, with sugar cane, with uh, little ponds just all kinds of stuff in the area that just makes it to where you have to walk on the path so the path's probably going to come through here and go around like this and we're going to have the pond there we're going to have more trees and stuff we might have something built down there i'm not sure yet uh but the point is to kind of have a path that goes through so you can see this and then we're going to have like an easy access to be able to come out here and go through the mountains because this was the area that I was really obsessed with is this little valley here and I was thinking of maybe making a little village with like houses on either side. I think it'd be really nice. I want to use the new mangrove wood and the new mud uh, for more houses, probably just make a big village out of it. But yeah, so that's why I'm kind of making my own little biome here with the mud and stuff, because I really like the denseness of the mangrove, but I don't like the way that the, the mangrove trees look, so yeah. It's not, it's, it's not the mangrove wood itself, it's the way the actual tree looks. It's kind of weird, but we, we might plant a couple throughout 
just to kind of, you know, mix it in a little bit. That way it's not completely, uh, you know, one type of tree we're going to build out of spruce. But yeah, um, so I'm going to fill in the rest of this area with mud and probably make that pond. And then I'm going to get started on figuring out where exactly I want to place the trees. All right, so I've been working on the area a little bit, and we've got the trees mapped out where they're going to be. We've got the pond mostly done. Uh, we're going to obviously use stones and stuff to, uh, or stone to make rocks and things like that. Um, but I've got, I think, where I want the trees to be. Now, I'm going to show you one tree that I've already finished, and then i'm gonna work on probably other trees but i just wanted to show you the one tree that these are all going to be similar to so this is kind of the final tree here uh the area will look a lot like this you'll have like the roots in the ground and the bamboo and the sugar cane everywhere and uh the new mangrove leaves are actually really really good for making it look like a willow tree sort of because they kind of look like they're hanging and i was able to find a texture pack that uh added the foliagey you know what i mean the extra stuff to the leaves uh and i've got these spruce slabs they're supposed to look like brown mushrooms i don't know if they do or not let me know uh and we got of course glowberries we got a little lantern there and a fern i think it looks really good uh we're using a lot of um the roots as well as kind of branches as texture in there so it looks a little bit different in some places but i think it looks really good imagine this tree but like all through here so you'd walk through here oh look at that view you'd walk through here you'd come up you'd have a little pond here and then boom isn't that amazing oh my gosh i'm so excited there is still a lot to do, and to be honest with you, that the, uh, those leaves took forever to get, and I probably only have enough for maybe two more trees, so I've made a bunch of shears, but I don't, those are the only shears that I have that I can make. That's the rest of my iron, so that's not going to be enough for very many more so this is probably going to be a project. I'm not going to push myself to get it all done today. We're going to work on this. Uh, so sorry to disappoint you if you expected it to be done today. But I'm trying this new thing of not pushing myself incredibly hard to finish things like this. Whenever in reality this, this grinding would probably take about a week. So yeah. I hope that uh, you guys really like this tree, though, and can kind of see my vision for what this is going to look like. I'm really excited. All right, so I built a couple more trees, and I was kind of filling in the area with, like, the lush stuff and everything. And I decided to start using mangrove propagules to, uh, I mean, they were green. I figured if I planted them in an area that has blocks above them, they wouldn't grow. And I was wrong, so... My forest slowly turned into a mangrove forest, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. It's actually not bad. And um, to quote Bob Ross, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. And this is a very happy accident because I think it turned out beautiful. Oh my gosh. So this is a custom tree. You can see mangrove grew around it, which I'm not even mad. I'm not. You know what? I'm not. I, I'm, I like mangrove trees now. I didn't like them. For some reason, they grew. And now I like them. <laughs> I think that it really adds to this area with my custom trees and the mangrove trees. I think it looks amazing. And you can just walk through here and it's really lush. And I'm going to have more moss through here. And this bamboo is going to grow. We'll have like this path probably maybe coarse dirt and stuff and we'll have little lanterns to light the way and we got our little pond here i grew a mangrove tree in it because i thought that that'd be cool so that turned out really awesome and then you just walk through here and this is kind of where it ends for now we can expand it later but i think that oh my gosh i absolutely love it i think it turned out perfect so uh, before it gets dark and all the mobs spawn and try to kill me, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. 
So I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.